Hello, this is Paylor Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Gravity Rush 2. So last time, we helped a serving overcome his fear of heights and uh, do his job also. So anyway, uh, this time we'll be doing training day. And uh, yeah, it's over yonder. Let's travel over there. What's up, Chaz? Something bothering you? Well, I'm in charge of training all the new recruits, but there's one trainee who hasn't shown up. He hasn't even checked in. Maybe he just overslept? Say, Cat, would you mind undertaking the training instead? Why me? I want someone who can give me objective feedback on my training program, though I'm sure it'll be far too basic for someone like you. Hmm, training does sound kind of boring. Tell you what, do me this favor, and I'll treat you to dinner. Okay, you hooked me. And hey, it's my civic responsibility to help the police, right? Thank you. Okay, let's head over to the training site. See. Let's begin the training. Please don't use your gravity powers so we can simulate the experience of a normal recruit. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Just yes will do. Now that you're a recruit, you have to act like one. He's taking this a little seriously. First is training your photographic memory. Oh crap. This is important for building concentration and memory skills. See. But before we start, break that box. Oh. Huh? You want me to break a box? It, it exploded. See. It's rigged to explode if you make a mistake. In a real investigation, mistakes can be the difference between life and death. I need recruits to understand that, not just with their mind, but with their body. But that's dangerous. I've ensured the gunpowder isn't enough to kill anyone. And if you want to avoid the pain, all you have to do is answer correctly. This training program is a little extreme. Yeah, it is. Oh. Alright, let's begin training your photographic memory. I'll hand you a picture, try to remember everything about it. When you're ready, let me know and I'll ask you a few questions. If you can answer three in a row, you pass the test. Okay. Remember everything about it. All right. What? Who is on the rightmost side of the picture? Who is on the rightmost side of the picture? Um. Uh, mm. 
It was the guy sitting down. I think he was like playing clothes. Okay. Now for the second question. Who is the second closest to the back in the picture? Um, it was either her or him. Now the third and final question. Who is sitting in the picture? Oh, well, we already established that. You answered everything correctly. Awesome, I passed. All right, let's move on to the next training challenge. Chaz, don't be in such a rush. Where's my praise for doing a good job? Training is part of the job. Passing the test is a requirement. Motivation should be an important part of the job, too. I agree. Love it. Next up. We need to train your situational awareness to help with controlling criminals. A little fighting, eh? I should ace this part. See. My fellow officers will be playing the part of some criminals you need to knock out. But before that, I need you to break that box. Uh-oh, another box? Yes, please. Really? I knew it. More boxes like that one will be scattered across the field. You're to assume they're citizens. Avoid collateral damage. Fine, but why do the citizens have to explode? It's a police officer's first duty to protect citizens. It's important to remember that. Not just with the mind, but with the body. Chaz is going a little overboard. I feel bad for his trainees. See. Let's begin the situational awareness training. Take out the bad guys without hurting the civilian boxes. Okay, targeting enemies in this game is so challenging. If you destroy three or more boxes, or if you leave the fighting area, you fail. I did it, they're all knocked out cold. Consider that a practice round. The next fight is the real deal. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't use powers. Woo, that was too close. That's all of them. Am I done now? No, the next fight is the real deal. Wait, you just said that about the last fight. An officer must be ready to be pushed to the limit and then push some more. That's how we grow. It's just like weight training. In other words, painful. Also, you just made your officers get punched out by...
Oh. You left the designated area. Try again. Isn't taking down the bad guys the only thing that's important? Right? Like, why? Wouldn't you want to get them away from the citizens? Why is it important to have them right next to the citizens at all times? You've passed with flying colors, cat. Hey, huh? I, I did? Finally, some praise after all this time. See. Okay, let's move to the site for the next lesson. Boom. We're here to train your character judgment skills. The goal is to train your attentiveness and assessment skills to aid in crime prevention. That's fine, but I'm not breaking any more boxes. Rude. How many times do I have to tell you enough with the explosions? If you fail to spot the suspect, the box will explode as it did just now. As an officer, if you don't stop crying before it starts, an innocent citizen gets hurt. Well, if you stop crying before it starts, then no crime has happened, and therefore you're actually just taking down an, an innocent person. Officers have to understand that, not just with their minds, but with their bodies. I'm starting to think Chess just likes explosions. Love it. Let's begin the character judgment training. Police officers playing suspicious people are coming this way. Stand on the box and capture them with your camera before it's too late. See. If you can get a clear picture of their face, you're fine. But if the suspect gets close to you, you fail. I got the picture. That was pretty straightforward. That's because it was practice, and there was only one criminal. Ah. Next, there will be two. Get both of their pictures. You passed. Not bad, huh? Boom. Next, there will be four. What? Now they're growing exponentially? See. Don't let any of them slip through. Capture them all on film. I keep feeling like there's going to be someone coming behind me.
but I guess not. Oh. You passed. You got all of their pictures. <laughs> Does this mean I passed all your tests? The training must be too easy. I need to step it up to unlock an officer's potential. Huh? What? Oui. Oh, nothing. Your training is not done. I'm done with this. No more training, no more explosions. I think I've been nice until now, but it's time I spoke my mind. You're too obsessed with all this and too hard on your trainees. That trainee who didn't show up had the right idea if he values his life. And what's with that training box shaking right there? Another explosion? I didn't rig it with explosives. If it wasn't you, then... Yeah. Oh. Okay, I thought it was gonna be, uh... Ugh. There was a person inside. You're that trainee who didn't show up. Are you okay? What happened? Uh, training's over. Cat, get this man to a hospital quick. The person we found in the box with the police rookie I was standing in for. He was admitted to the hospital with serious injuries, but we still have no idea how he ended up in the box. And in all the excitement, Chaz forgot to treat me to dinner. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, that was interesting. Ah, we obtained a new furnishing. Okay. Oop. Training day two. Okay. Well, I guess when we come back next time, we'll be doing training day two. So until then, see ya and bye.